Second quarter recap here, 104.5, 104.9 ESPN Baton Rouge. How about Leonard Fournette already at his career high, 15 carries, 169 yards through 30 minutes of play. And right now, LSU playing as dominant a football as they've played in the past couple of seasons, not here in just in 2015. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of the 2011 season, Jordy, just going out and destroying the will to win for Auburn. Auburn's in trouble. Uh, LSU is just putting a butt thumping on them, and it's really uh, nice to see out here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. 24-0, our score now. I know you know. I know you thought down there towards the uh, south end, north end zone that they had a chance to maybe get six when they put up three. So it's, you saw some passes in some areas that you're not really – Used to seeing those calls. Yeah, they threw a fade route to Durrell and then a little bit of a deep ball over the middle, and uh, Harris missed both of them. But, you know, for the most part, you can't criticize anything LSU is doing, playing great on defense and running the heck out of the football. The offensive line deserves a lot of credit, and Fournette's a man out there running over a bunch of folks. What is the message at halftime when you're playing this dominant? Well, you just can't come out and fall asleep. You know, you got to come out and play the third quarter. Uh, Auburn right now, they're over there in the locker room wondering what the heck is going on out here. Are we any good? And right now, Auburn's not a very good football team, but LSU, give them credit, dominating the first half. Eagle 98.1 postgame, Alan Risher. Follow us on Twitter at 104.5 ESPN.